Hey everybody, it's Onyx Nova Cosplay, and today I'm going to show you how I made these little mushroom guys out of a pill jar. Um, a pill bottle. Pill jar. <laughs> out of a pill bottle. Um, it actually still has a little opening, so hold on, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> I can't do this with one hand. Give me a second. Here, let me... Oh, okay, you're much higher than intended, but... It's my little mushroom. There's a the little thing, so you can just... And it still functions. And then you can close it back. I like these. They're based off stash jars. Um, for, you know. Um, but I just like the idea of having... I like the idea of having containers that... Like, aesthetically fit vibes instead of just like being visible. I have a lot of containers that I don't like how they look um, just because they're like boring and don't have a vibe to them. Um, so I wanted to make at least some small ones that are also cute and also functional. It's great. <laughs> I love it. It's just so nifty. And like, yeah, it's still orange on the inside, but I wasn't going to paint the whole inside. I actually thought about um, putting fabric on the inside, but that felt like a little bit of a chore. But I'm rambling. So here is my video on how I took a pill bottle and made it this cute little mushroom dude. So please enjoy. <laughs> first up, the design process. So the first thing I did was like draw it out. Now this was not the actual drawing because I didn't record the full process of drawing it out. Um, so this is a reenactment. This is essentially what I did. I tried to draw the bottle and then figure out what kind of funky cute little shape I wanted the mushroom to have. I basically had an idea. I thought about making it like form fitting to the bottle shape itself. I thought about making it like drastically bigger um, and like hiding the entire pill bottle inside so you couldn't really tell that it was even a pill bottle to begin with. Um, but I, I played around with the shapes a lot, but I decided to go with a more natural looking mushroom shape. Uh, just so it would still fit the vibe, but also, like, still be able to function and kind of be, like, a... I don't want to say handheld, but, like, I figured it would be easier if you could actually, like, hold... Almost still hold the bottle and take the lid off at the same time, as opposed to just, like, having to grasp onto this huge thing and then trying to screw the bottle top off. Uh, since it does have that weird little, um, like, clasp thing that I showed you. Um, but this was the first one. I had a huge pill bottle. I hated it. It was too form-fitting. Um, oh yeah, but I used foam clay. This is from Kamui Cosplay. I just wanted to show what it looked like when it was being used, because it's cool. Um, but yeah, no, so it's got the little, like, clasp thing on it, so I decided that a more, uh, handheld shape would still work. This was also when I was contemplating covering the inside, but I figured that would take up too much space and would be too time-consuming. The lids are literally just pieces of cardboard circles cut around uh, the shape of the pill bottle lid, and that's all the ones that I made. I made so many of these things. Um, I've given away a couple of them as gifts and stuff, but like mainly I just have them all. Um, my mountain of mushrooms taking over my entire space. Um, <laughs> I made all of these at once because I just was like really obsessed with this idea, and I just wanted to make them all happen. Um, but to actually finish the tops, I just got a whole bunch of tin foil and, like, essentially layered it. Oh my god, my, why is my hand shaking so much holding that hot glue gun? But essentially, I just, like, layered it up, and I, like, sometimes put pieces of cardboard inside and then covered it in tin foil. Um, but essentially, I just kept layering and layering tin foil until it, like, got me the little dome shape that I wanted. I was gonna make the tops out of foam clay too, but I was limited on the amount of foam clay that I had. And I really didn't want to buy any more. Oh, my hand must have hurt. <laughs> must have been hot. Um, but I didn't want to use all the foam clay I had and not be able to like make all the bases and things like that. And I also wanted to make, um, or use some of it for other co cosplays and like things I was working on at the time. And I was trying to like not buy any more materials. So, um, man, those have been really hot. Oh yeah, and then I, uh, took an exacto knife and cut the um <laughs> hello kitty and cut the um excess tin foil off the side and then 
once I cut all the excess off, I just kind of cleaned up the edges. I don't know if I actually got a good video of it because I was taking this video with uh, one hand. I didn't have a proper little stand like I do now for my camera. So I was just kind of going for it. Um, <laughs> I also filmed this, like, I probably, probably um, six months ago, eight months, six months ago. It's been a while. I lived in a different apartment. I like, my life was different. Everything was different. Um, but I did film everything, so at least I had that going for me. Um, but I, uh, uh, side note, while I'm still cutting off this tinfoil, um, the reason I'm posting this now is because I've decided that I'm going to try and get all of my, like, backup content out, uh, because I just have a whole bunch of stuff that I filmed. <laughs> my cat just got on the bed. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I filmed, but I haven't actually posted. Um, but yeah, there's my little mushroom kingdom. Hi, baby. <laughs> the cat's here. Um, but yeah, then after that, I did end up putting some foam clay on top, um, but I didn't want to make the whole lid out of foam clay. Um, but then I painted them all with a base coat of white. And then from there, I went in and I started with red because I was thinking, what are they called? Hold on. Okay, so I had to Google it real quick, but it's the um, uh, Amanti uh, um, Amanita mushrooms that... You know the ones. You, you know the mushrooms I'm talking about. The classic, the classic red with the the white dot mushrooms. Um, and I figured I was just going to make all of these look like that. But I kind of changed my mind. And I was like, you know, I could mix these up and just make them funky little mushrooms. And I'm probably, I have a couple more that I haven't finished. Um, so once I get more foam clay and tinfoil, I'm probably going to make some just, some funky weird ones. Because um, I can. Um, my favorite thing about these mushrooms, though, is that they're actually like, a bajillion of them and they are like quite poisonous they're like the most poisonous mushrooms i think um which is i don't know that's kind of cool especially if you use this for uh substances right like to hold them it's so it's like oh it's kind of funny right uh put mushrooms in your mushroom um <laughs> which i i don't plan on doing i'm just gonna use them to hold like jewelry and stuff um because i have a lot of jewelry sets um, but I just kind of have them all over the place. So once I actually like detangle all my necklaces and stuff, I'm going to sort them out and put them, um, like in these little jars so I can just be like, oh, this is my one jewelry set and this is the next and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, uh, these are just really cute. And these were also a lot of fun to paint one because I love painting in bulk. Um, it's just like a relaxing thing to do is just Sorry, I had to wrangle my cat and put her out of the room for a second while I finished this up. <laughs> she was, she decided this was the perfect time to try and break everything I own. Um, but yes, yeah, so what was I saying? Relaxing. I like painting these. Um, I find myself coming back to these little mushrooms a lot. I'm not quite sure why. I just kind of love them. Um, <clears throat> I thought about selling them at one point. Um, but I figured I would just rather post like how I made them in case you guys want to make them too. Like this is probably not an original idea. Um, I know the stash jar definitely isn't. I looked those up to begin with to get like inspiration on what to do. Um, because the problem was is that I had all these pill bottles cause I, so I started watching um, Studson Studios on YouTube a lot and he makes miniatures. Um, and he just kind of hoards everything that could be reusable, right? And so I started doing that. At one point, I had, like, more cardboard in my apartment than anything else. Um, like, the cardboard to life ratio was getting a little extreme. Um, <laughs> so I, I toned it down a little bit, um, but I kept a lot of the pill jars. So I was like, well, I have to do something with these. Like, I just, I have far too many of them, and I don't want to just throw them away because that's so much plastic that would be going into the world. I didn't really want to do that either. Um, so I decided that I would try and find something that I could use uh all of them four right um and these little mushrooms came to mind um i don't remember exactly which uh stash jar like inspired me but i literally went on pinterest and just like typed in stash jars um and looked around i don't think i actually saw any mushroom ones i think they were different ones but like i just love mushrooms man and i think part of it honestly one there's that whole like it's been going on for a couple years now, the whole like fad of 
um, like mushroom fairy characters, or at least those mushroom hats. I've seen a lot of them be fairy or like fey type creatures, but like I I love those, and I'd love to make one of those hats one day. But that's for later down the line. Um, but like I also have always been obsessed with like Alice in Wonderland, and like <clears throat> excuse me, goodness. I've been obsessed with Alice in Wonderland, and I love all the, you know, mushrooms, and, like, you know, this side makes you bigger, this side makes you smaller, like, and some of them are portrayed to look like these, uh, Amanita mushrooms? I feel like I'm saying it wrong, which is why I hesitate every time, um, (laughs) but I digress. Um, so I painted a whole bunch of them red, and then, okay, you see that skull to the side. I went back and added some sparkly paint, um, so they got this nice shine on top, and I'm obsessed with it. I don't remember the brand of paint that I use, but it literally had like a little diamond logo on the paint itself. But like, look how cute this little mushroom looks now. Like I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I, I honestly like wish that little drip right there, you see it? I wish I could have stayed on, but it eventually broke off and it was devastating. Um, I think this might have been when it broke off actually, was this little moment of like putting the yep oh I broke it off myself wow tragedy I think it was falling off so um but yeah and I just snapped the lid back on and I was like so proud like it's not like I made this container but like I felt like it was a proper upcycle um so this is in my new place now um I wanted to make a slightly Christmassy themed one I was thinking about giving these to a couple friends I ended up keeping them because I liked them so much um but no I think that is the red I used on the top I could be wrong um but the first thing when it comes to like painting with those metallics at least for me um is that you can never just put the shiny paint just directly onto whatever it is you're painting even if it has a white or white enough ish surface right like it will just like not quite get the level of like saturation I guess for lack of a better term that you want um Like, I feel like it'll just always kind of, like, be a little, like, opaque. And you'll always kind of see that white coming through it. And, like, for me, that's not what I want. Now, if that's what you want for yours, obviously, like, go for it. Do what you want, right? Like, if you're gonna make this, by all means, like, paint this however you want. Make it however you want. Like, I, if anyone ever makes one of these, (laughs) based on what I've done, like, I would love to see what it actually turns out to be like. Um, cause like at the end of the day, these were all made at once. So I feel like if I were to like make it again now, I might go about it a little differently. I might make the tops, um, fabric instead of foam clay, um, like make them little like pin cushions almost. Um, which I think that would be cute and fun. Like the tomato pin cushions that like every like sewing kit ever sells, but like make it a little mushroom on top. You could hold your sewing needles inside or like the sewing needles that you're using for your current project could be on top and like a black bobbin of or like a spool of thread could be inside like like, the world is your oyster with these right like I just kind of made them because I think they're cute I love the jewelry idea of like putting my jewelry in them um but who knows like I also might put other little artsy things in them because right now they're just uh vibing on my desk so (laughs) um but it's because I love them so much and I kind of like want to cherish them how they are. Um, but yeah, so I don't know why I painted it while putting it on that. I thought it would might be a good holder, but I still kind of got paint on myself. Um, but yeah, and then same thing with the, the, little, the little base. I decided to go green. I normally go like um, somewhere on the uh, skin color spectrum of like a pale like pink to like a dark brown but like this one I like I said I want to get a little funky with it um but also like I said I have to put a base down because I don't like how it looks normally even just like looking at the like top of the mushroom in the background of this you can just see how like the white is poking through and my problem with those metallic paints and not just like the folk art brand like just metallic paints in general is that like, I just feel like there are never quite enough coats of paint that can be put on it to like fully give me that coat, like the full coat of color that I want. I feel like it's always slightly opaque and like 
I feel like this also helps like dim the shine, which is like, why would you use metallic if you want to dim the shine? But like, I don't know. I feel like there's a, a good balance of shine when you start with a matte base. Um, that's just me. Again, like I said, do what you like. Um, <laughs> if you make this, you may paint them however you wish. Um, go with the vibes. But like, um, I just personally like a good matte base on mine. Um, but also while I'm painting this, um, I don't know when this is going to be posted. I have another video up or that will be up soon, but like shh, secrets, um, but it'll be up soon though. Um, and I'm going to try and like make multiple videos a month instead of just one video a month uh, this year. Um, so let's, let's see if I can do that. We'll, we'll try. I have a lot of content to get through that I've already filmed and I just need to finish some things. So I'm probably in an okay place. I want to get at least two videos a month, but I, okay. What I really want is a one video a week, but <laughs> I'm well aware of my, um, limitations as a human being, um, as well as like, I don't know, my limitations as an artist and like, I also work a full-time job and like that'll start back to full full-time soon over the winter break it was a little like the wintery time it was a little slower I didn't get as many hours um but I'm about to go back to full-time soon so that will probably put a, a damper on uh how, what is that on the ugh. oh it's probably a ship of paint um but I'll probably put a damper on how frequently I'm gonna be able to post so I'm kind of just gonna be like spacing them out but like posting them when they're done like when they're done they're done and like we'll go from there um oh yeah and then that off to the side is my lovely washcloth that I use to wet my paintbrushes on <laughs> okay so this is after a couple of coats of red paint I didn't film all of it but then now it's time for the metallic and I want you to see what I mean when I say how nice it looks with, like, having the base. Like, do you see how shiny it is? Do you see how, like, it's a beautiful color, but it just, without the red underneath, it just almost is pink. Even now it looks pink in this. But, like, with without the red underneath, it's, like, a very, like, weird pinky color. Um, and yeah, I mixed it with what little red I had left to try and give it a little bit of, a little bit of more red, because I forgot just how pink it can get. Um, because it's been a while since I've used these colors. Um, but mixing these two gets the, like, red I want, um, because, like I said, the metallic is too shiny on its own. But I'm not a huge fan of just, like, plain matte coloring either. And maybe part of it's because I'm not, like well versed in shading um I'm working on my shading skills but like I I haven't been painting for super long I'm still trying to figure it out and even things as simple as this like I think I overthink oh god I think I overthink um what to do I I tried to balance this on a paint container and the problem was is that like I even put like tape underneath um, you can see me trying to push it back down onto the paint or onto the tape, but like I put tape underneath, but I went a little hard, so <laughs> popped it right off. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'm talking a lot about this year, um, just because as of recording this, it is, um, what is today? January the 4th, uh, of 2023. And I've been working on this video, as I said, some of those things were, like, filmed in, like, June of 2022. So I'm trying to just finish up some stuff. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then, likewise, with the uh, green, I did the same thing. Please no one judge me on how I treat my paintbrushes. I know I treat them badly, okay? I'm well aware. I've had these paintbrushes for a long, long time. I probably need to get new ones, but like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna do that. Um, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I did the painting the same way on these. 
And I always try to get an even coat when painting just because I worry that I'm gonna put like streaks in it. And sometimes I think I put too much paint on and then it gets all globby. Like eventually it dries, but like, I feel like I put too much on trying to achieve that like super um, smooth paint job. Um, and I end up like over painting. I feel like I also like waste a lot of paint, but that's more because when I mix paints like I've done here, I'm not really sure like how much I need to achieve the color that I want. Um, Cause this is not just like, I don't just mix like, you know, reds with reds usually. It's like, hmm, how can I achieve the perfect? <laughs> yeah, it, stuck. it came off on my finger cause I was holding it, which love that. Um, but I, I try to achieve that a perfect like brown sometimes because I feel like, at least in my experience of buying paints, um, cause I mainly use acrylic paint. These are all acrylic paints. Um, acrylic paint is like all I ever use. I want to get into other paints, um, at some point in my life. But when I shop for acrylic paints, I feel like I am limited in my search for brown paints that are versatile. I feel like I get like the stock forest brown and then like I just have to get creative with other colors to make it like a brown I want. Um, Cause you know, sometimes you don't want to shade with just all black. Um, and I have other things that I've painted that like I wanted a nice brown and I had to like fudge it to make it. But anyway, enough talk about paint. Here are the results. Um, if you've watched this entire thing, thing, thank you so much for joining me on my little mushroom journey that I've done today. Um, I'm really proud of how these turned out. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with them, not gonna lie. So if you wanna see more, like, let me know. Uh, I wanna make more things for you guys to enjoy and to watch with me um, because I am not just making these for me anymore, you know? Like, I, I want everyone to enjoy these with me. So like, thank you for watching. Look at my mushroom kingdom but not cop my mushroom kingdom but not copyright it by nintendo it's a kingdom of mush it's not it's not mario's I, it's just mushrooms in a land i promise oh god <laughs>